In today's episode, you will learn how to make a three-phase transformer, consumer's load monitoring and load balancing or load shifting project using Arduino. In this project, two applications will be used. This application will be used for monitoring all the three phases, red, yellow and blue in real time. While with the help of this application, any consumer can be connected with any of the three phases. Let me show you this practically. Let's connect consumer 2 with the yellow phase. As you can see, the bulb is turned on. And you can also see an increase in the value. Let's connect consumer 3 with the yellow phase as well. You can see the bulb is turned on. And the value is further increased. As you can see, currently the load on the yellow phase is more than the red phase and blue phase. Now to reduce the load on the yellow phase, we can shift consumer 2 or consumer 3 on any other phase. Let's connect consumer 3 with the red phase. As you can see, the load on the yellow phase is reduced. This way we can do the load balancing. In case of any emergency, a consumer can be disconnected. Now let's connect consumer 3 with the blue phase. As you can see the value is increased. Let's connect consumer 2 with the blue phase as well. You can see the value is further increased. Now the load on the blue phase is greater than the other two phases. To reduce load on the blue phase, we can shift the consumer load on any other phase. All these consumers are wirelessly controlled using 433 MHz radio frequency transmitter and receivers. One transmitter is used to send commands to three receiver modules. This is the third version of the three-phase transformer load monitoring system while in the first version, I designed an application in VP.NET and used this application to monitor all the three phases of the three-phase transformer prototype model. The transformer wiring, soldering, the ACS712 current census connections, soldering and interfacing is already explained in very detail. In the second version, I used the Blink application for monitoring all the three phases in real time from anywhere around the world using a cell phone, Arduino and Nord MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. As this is the version 3 of the three-phase transformer load monitoring system, this project is around 70% based on the version 1. As I'll be using the same connections and the same computer application for monitoring all the three phases. For the best understanding, I recommend you should watch my first tutorial on the three-phase transformer load monitoring system and then you can resume from here. As in this episode, I will only explain the modifications which are number one, complete circuit diagram, number two, interfacing, number three, consumers load shifting, computer application designing and programming, number four, transmitter programming and finally number five, receivers programming. Let's get started. The components used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the circuit diagram which I used in version 1, which I have already explained in a very detail. These are the three ACS712 current sensors connected with analog pins A1, A2 and A3. These are the three phases coming from the transformers. These are the three bulbs connected with red, yellow and blue. Arduino calculates the load and then sends the values to the computer application. While this is the modified circuit diagram in which three consumers are added, the consumer supply is controlled using this transmitter, which will be connected with the computer application. Let's start with the transmitter side. 
As you can see, the 433 megahertz RF transmitter data pin is connected with the Arduino's pin number 12, while the transmitter 5 volt and ground pins are connected with the Arduino's 5 volt and ground. The 433 MHz RF receiver data pin is connected with the Arduino's pin number 11, while the receiver 5 volt and ground pins are connected with the Arduino's 5 volt and ground. Three channel relay module is connected with pin number 8, 9, and 10. These relays are 12 volt and are of the type SPDT, single pole and double throw. These relays are controlled with the help of the driver circuits which consist of the 2 and 2222 NPN transistors and 10K resistors. Watch my tutorial on relay driver circuit design calculations. The common legs of the relays are connected together and then connected with the load. While the normally open legs of the relays are connected with the red, yellow and blue phases. With the help of these relays, consumer 1 can be connected with any phase. Consumer 2 and consumer 3 also has the same connections. This circuit diagram can be downloaded from my blog page. The link is given in the description. All the connections are as per the circuit diagram is explained. As you can see, three Arduinos are used. Each Arduino represents a consumer and each Arduino has a three channel relay module and you can also see each Arduino has a receiver module. These RF receiver modules will receive commands from this RF transmitter. So each consumer can be wirelessly controlled using a computer application designed in VB.net. Now let's first discuss the controller programming. This is the transmitter code which will be used to send commands from the computer application to all the consumers. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure that you download this library. I have a very detailed getting started tutorial on how to control anything wirelessly, in which I explained everything. So for the best understanding, watch this tutorial. The link is given in the description. In this code, I did only one modification, which is I used the serial communication, reads the command sent by the computer application, and store the character in a variable message, and then send this character to the receiver modules. These are the three programs written for the three consumers. These programs are exactly the same except the commands, which are different, as every consumer has different commands. Let's have a look at the programming of the consumer one. The receiver module data pin is connected with pin number 11 of the Arduino. Three relays are connected with pins 8, 9 and 10. The relays are set to output using the pin mode function. The F conditions are used to check for the desired command and turn on and turn off the relays accordingly. All the programs can be downloaded from my blog page. Now let's discuss the VB.NET application. This is the application designed for the consumer's load shifting. I have so many tutorials on desktop application designing in which I have already explained how to add buttons, timers, scene ports, etc. For the basics, I recommend you should watch those tutorials. I will provide links in the description. As you can see, each consumer has four buttons and every button sends a unique character to the controller using serial communication. Double click on the form to open the programming. We start by importing the system.io and system.io.ports. This code is for the serial port. 24 is the port number on which the Arduino is installed while 9600 is the baud rate. The same baud rate should be used on the Arduino side otherwise the communication will not work. This code is executed when checkbox 1 is pressed. 
I've used checkbox's ace buttons. So when checkbox 1 is pressed, it will send character B to the Arduino. Similarly for all the remaining buttons, the only difference is in the characters which are sent. The project complete circuit diagram and programming can be downloaded from my blog page. If you have any questions, let me know in a comment. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.